Logging into StoryCut and launching Final Cut Pro. This tutorial will show you how to properly insert a single or multiple files into StoryCut, Sienna, and Final Cut Pro. Requirements. You will need a Mac that has StoryCut, Final Cut Pro, and Sienna installed in it. You will also need your Sienna login information. Click on StoryCut icon on desktop to open. Go to Preferences in the StoryCut tab and into the IP address bar type in 199.94.64.122. Check off the auto string out for batch.mov. Click OK. Close StoryCut and relaunch it. Insert SD card into the card reader or side of computer. Drag the files from the SD card onto the desktop. Since StoryCut is to import multiple files, insert files from desktop by dragging the files over the StoryCut icon. A screen will open up and here fill out the following. MOS slug title, put in the title or slug of the piece, metadata1, username, metadata2, class, metadata3, type of video, which is usually raw footage, metadata 4, keywords, or you can put in your slug again. Click OK. Files will begin to upload. Once it reaches 80%, it is complete. Note, it is not 100%. These files will be saved as a self-contained movie. Open Final Cut Pro. Log into Sienna by using your Emerson College login information. This is to check if your files have been successfully uploaded. Search your files by typing in the keywords entered into the metadata from StoryCut. Once files are found, click on the Send to FCP button and your files will be sent to Final Cut Pro. If you are importing a single file, go to File, Import, Files and choose where the file is. This is only if you wish to not share the file. If you wish to share the file, you can click on it in Final Cut Pro and then go to File slash Deliver to Sienna. This will pop up Sienna delivery options, which you will have to fill out metadata information using the same format as before. You are now finished and all of your files are both on Sienna and Final Cut Pro. Summary. You have just successfully learned how to import files into Sienna and Final Cut Pro by using StoryCut as your middleman.